Hello? Yeah, put the news on right now. Put the news on? The news. Put all right. On. All right. Okay. Big changes are coming to Florida beaches. A new law that could limit where and on which beach you get to hang out. It's catching a lot of people by surprise, too. Josh, I'm going to ask what I think a lot of people will start asking once they realize it is, what's going on? Yeah, so this new law basically says private homeowners and private business owners will be able to restrict access to the beach directly behind their property going forward. Now, that's a big change here in Florida from what we're used to, and it could have a big impact on the busy, crowded summer months. A new state law goes into effect July 1st, which says private business and homeowners can decide if they want yeah! to... We need everything we can possibly find to kick people off the beach and to not let them come back. The Juke Squad's lore goes back since nearly the beginning of time. Well, actually, since the beginning of YouTube, so 2007. That's right, after 15 years, we're still providing the internet with bangers. If you respect what we do and you want to support the dream, absolutely spunk the like button. DO IT! Now let's get serious. Hurricane Adalia was a very serious storm for a lot of people on the Gulf Coast of Florida. However, not for Mike Concho, aka Dick Savage, aka my dad, who saw the opportunity to prank the living dog out of a news station. But before we get into that lore, we have to go back in time. Years ago, Florida put a law in place declaring anyone who owns beachfront property can make it private property. And we thought that this was ridiculous. So what did we do? We dressed up as the former governor of Florida and went and kicked everyone off the beach. We spent $500 on fences, signs, and caution tape. Fenced off the whole beach so that we could have the entire beach to ourselves on the 4th of July. But we didn't actually care about having space on the 4th of July. We were just pretending. I mean, come on. This is completely overkill. But that didn't stop the news from answering some emails regarding the fence. That's right, we emailed them as concerned neighbors complaining about the fence that we put up. When they reached out for an interview, I had no choice but to send in my dad under the alias of Mike Honcho. Alright, so when the news gets here, I need you to go out and be an angry neighbor under the alias Mike Honcho. Mike Honcho. I like Mike Honcho. H-O-N-C-H-O. C-H-O. Honcho. Mike, you are my Concho. You do not live here. You hate the fence. You're very angry. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. And I live here. This is my house. And you're going to argue with me about the fence at your house. Absolutely. Perfect. And oh boy, did he get on the news. You can tell by my reaction here. I was just in disbelief that somebody could... <sighs> Oh my god! Oh my! Another new state law, this one that allows homeowners to restrict mm. access to parts of the beach. You get the generating a lot of controversy <laughs> in parts of the Bay Area and push back. Oh, just in disbelief. <laughs> my condo's on the news yeah. twice! Yeah! Honcho! Ah. <laughs> the head honcho! Head honcho, Mike honcho, tell it. Hey, this was the moment that I knew would be written in the prankster history books for all the time. He had multiple appearances on various news stations. He was even filmed ripping down the fence along with yelling at me about kicking my ass. It actually got so out of hand so fast. People were stealing the fence, people were calling the cops on us, people were trying to fight us, people were writing us emails trying to kick our ass, leaving letters in our mailbox telling us we didn't deserve to live there because the beach belonged to everyone. Little did they know we were on their side and we thought that the beaches belonged to everyone too. 
you want to see the full version of that m absolute masterpiece, the link is in the description. We actually just kept pushing it and pushing it until we eventually got caught by a news anchor who Googled my concho. Because if you Google my concho, you find this and this and this and these. After getting caught, the news made this story, exposing our elaborate lie. Our commitment to you is accurate reporting and transparency. And because of that, we want to break down a story here that we've been following all week. The controversy there was over one man's effort to fence off his beachfront property from the public using a state law allowing property owners to privatize the sand up until the high tide line. Well, we reported that the man behind all of this was Jack Tenney. And we told you that Tenney is a YouTuber. And we ultimately discovered that his actions to fence off the sand were all part of a publicity stunt. What we're now learning is that the hoax goes even deeper than that. You may remember that this man here is who tore down Tenney's fence. Well, what appeared to be an angry beachgoer was in fact another part of the act. Even this man who we interviewed as part of our effort to get reaction from people on the beach was again someone Tenney planted and was in on the hoax. Now, Tenney claims that he did all of this to bring light to what he considers a bad law. Now, we as a news organization here want to cover the stories that are important to our community and you. And this new law is one of those topics. However, airing false events or characters is not something we take lightly. And we pledge to you to continue our truth in storytelling. <laughs> That to me is still the funniest thing in history. And after this prank and all the controversy we stirred up, we got a statement from the governor of Florida who stated that the beaches belong to everyone. Mike Concho became a household name and we were heroes in our town. Mike Concho was actually used multiple times after that to prank other news stations, schools, and I assume everywhere and everyone else in the world. Kind of like the fish sticks joke on South Park. Since then, we've tried to prank the news on several different occasions. But explaining to you why in this video would be far too elaborate, so we're just gonna save that for the Karen kicking us off the beach video part two. In case you didn't know, we were actually kicked off the beach the exact same way that we kicked someone else off the beach. That video is a roller coaster ride. The link to that one is also in the description. Today, we commend Mike Concho. In this bonus episode three of Hurricane Adventures, we will witness more prankster history. I have a plan. Know what you're doing. Yeah, I've lived on the beach for a long time. I've never drowned. Knock on wood. And you're telling me about the And I can swim in the pickleball courts. So that's, we got a swimming pool and pickleball. It's something I want to get off my chest. I got an offer to do Playgirl magazine. And I did it. I did a full spread for Playgirl magazine. I, I mean spread, man. I pulled my butt apart. You probably didn't hear about it because I went under the name of Mike Concho. My dad was checking up on our warehouse when a news van pulled down the street, walked up to him and asked him for an interview. Sometimes content is just placed in your lap. Sometimes it's free. Wouldn't be possible without our man Mike Concho, a.k.a. Dick Savage. And I wish that the lore ended here. But it goes much deeper than any of us ever could have possibly anticipated. While this is part three of Hurricane Nadalia, part two of the Karen kicking us off the beach video is going to blow your mind. I know that video was supposed to go up soon, but with the hurricanes hitting, we've been in full swing. I think we're actually about to go chase Hurricane Lee over to the East Coast because it looks like it's going to be one of the biggest swells of the year. All that and more coming soon if you guys want to support the dream. All we ask is that you like the video. If you want to check out the merch on Jigsquad.com, you can do that too. And be prepared because the best is yet to come. It always has been, it always will be. As long as we're still alive, that's gonna be the case. A wave of controversy. Beachgoers are furious after a homeowner fenced off part of the beach. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Katie McCall. A new state law could allow someone to kick you off of private beachfront property. So we sent Nightside's Grady Trimble to the front lines of a beachfront battle and, and what he found surprised every single one of us. That guy is out of his mind has no right ever to put a fence up on that beach. Ever An apparently on. angry neighbor complaining about the fence Jack Tenney put up in front of his beachfront home. But as soon as the fence goes up, this is all going to be private property. He says he and his buds just want a good place to watch the fireworks on the beach. 
It's like a fight to get beach space on the 4th. People come early and start putting tents up and chairs and... They posted this video to YouTube saying they have a right to this area thanks to a new state Dude. law. Once the state law was passed, the city had passed its own ordinance saying all of this beach is public. They can't block off the beach. Code enforcement paid Tenny a visit. And the city told us that we would be charged about $200 per sign if we didn't take it down within 24 hours. Tenny never had to take down the fence. He says an irritated beachgoer did it for him in the middle of the night. But Tenny says they've totally missed his point. He put up the fence as a prank and a protest of Florida's new law for his more than 3 million YouTube subscribers. We try to use it to uh, spread awareness on issues like this, like this law, dumb law being passed. The prank didn't bother this fan from Indiana who recognized Tenny from other videos. Right when I saw it, I knew it was a joke. It's not. Obviously, they weren't serious, but... It's just what he does. It's what he does. Oh, and by the way, that angry neighbor we caught on camera... You want to kick your you-know-what. That's Tenny's dad, who's also in on the joke. It turns out they're on the same side as the people who think the beach should be open to everyone. Grady Trimble, 10 News. And I am with Alex Miranda. You looked into this YouTuber. What did you find out about this guy? Yeah, Carolina, <laughs> most of his videos are jokes on YouTube, they're pranks, uh, but a few of those videos are actually about topics that are close to his heart. Uh, if you scroll through that YouTube page, you'll come across this video. Say a prayer, Hurricane Irma heads straight for Florida. Teddy was forced to evacuate and he spent time making sure his followers were safe. Now in another video, Jack calls out another YouTuber, accusing him of being a bully in order to get popular. 6,000 people commented on that video, many of them saying thank you. Now Teddy says, He's going to be going to Hawaii next weekend. He'll be surfing and also shooting some more of those videos.